Hello Photoshopies, welcome to Murtazastic. Let's fire up the Photoshop and bring our imagination to life. Alright, here we are in Photoshop. First we need this ladybug. We need to select this top red cap of the bug and make a duplicate copy of that. Also add a layer mask to this main body of the bug and hide this red part. Let's refine the edge a bit and here we go. Next we need water. For that I will use this image. Next use transform option to warp this water around the top of this bug. There we go. Now let's add shadows because shadows make things better. It gives more details to the object and also makes it look like 3D. Add some shadows on bottom and some on sides. Here we go. We don't need this top part of the water so we need to hide it. Let's fix some tiny parts. This part here, this leg there and we are good to go. Maybe a bit more here. Now we are good to go. Let's bring some color balance to the water using color balance layer. Here we go. Much better I think. Let's duplicate this black spot to make one on the other side of the bug. Just like this. I think opacity of the water should be like 90% or somewhat near 90%. Let's add this image to give water a bit more details. Let's add one more here and fix it a bit and here we go. And one more here. And there we go. Now what should we add next? I think this shark will do just fine. Let's scale it down and put this water image on top of it. Set the blending option of the water layer to overlay. Let's add this veil next, maybe this big. Now I will use that same water layer on top and set the blending mode to color dodge. Here we go. Let's hide its back fin or tail. I think the blending mode of the water should be normal uh, with lower opacity just like this let's now add a highlight to the veil using exposure adjustment layer i think the veil is too big let's scale it down a bit that is better now the shark also needs a highlight so let's add that now just add an exposure adjustment layer adjust to the highlight and here we go It also needed some shadows underneath, so let's add those very quick. Here we go. Let's group all the layers and make a smart object. Now let's add a camera raw filter. Here's our final water bug. If you are interested in Photoshop, then you might want to subscribe. Turn on the notifications and make sure not to miss a single upload. Alright, we're done with our water bug, but I think we should give it a background. For that, let's import this image, put it in back and bring another one to the front. We need to cut this one from the background. Here we go. Put this here and adjust it a bit. It needs color correction. For that, we are going to add a color balance layer. Here we go. Let's scale down the water bug to fit the scene. I think it is not looking that great, so let us reset it. And instead, I will make this rock bigger. Just like this. Here we go. Now let's add Gaussian blur to the background. Not too much. Just like this. Here we go. Now the bug needs a drop shadow. Let's add that quickly. A slight and nice shadow will do. Now I think the whole image needs to be a little bit cooler as it looks too warm. Let's add a hue and saturation layer and colorize it to a cool color. We need to decrease the opacity. Here we go, much better. Now let's add some darkness to this image. Let's add a levels adjustment layer 
make the whole image dark. In blending options, let us reveal the below layer's white areas by using blend if option. If you don't know why to find blend if option, just right click on the layer and on top you will find blending options. Click on it in the next window that appears, you will find blend if option on the right side. All right. Let's reveal the bug a bit more by just painting with black on the layer mask. Let's group all layers and make a smart object to form it. There is this one little problem though, we can see through this gap. Let's fix it by just painting with white and make it look like a highlight. Here we go. Now if you are a regular viewer, then you know we need a camera raw filter to hide some of our mistakes. So let's add that and slide some sliders left and right. After clicking OK, here is our final ladybug. I mean the final water bug. Check out these videos if you are interested in Photoshop. If you have anything to say, just leave a comment below and I will be in touch. Also consider subscribing and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single upload. That is it for today's video. See you in the next. Thank you for watching.